UK spies at GCHQ reject Andrew Napolitano's claims that Barack Obama used the agency to wiretap Donald Trump. Donald Trump's first meeting with German Chancellor Angela Merkel was expected to be a cool affair. Merkel has been openly critical of Trump's travel ban, while Trump tweeted Merkel was ruining Germany. There was no more evidence of this tense relationship when Trump ignored Merkel over a handshake. As photographers asked Merkel and Trump to shake hands in the Oval Office, Merkel leans in and quietly asks, Do you want to have a handshake? Question mark. Watch what happens. It was awkward, but at least it meant Merkel dodged a repeat of the painful handshake marathon which went on in February, when Trump and visiting Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe grasped hands for a painfully long 17 seconds. Meanwhile, the Merkel meeting became more awkward when Trump said he may have something in common with Merkel, who had her phone tapped by the Obama administration. His comments came despite the White House apologizing for Press Secretary Sean Spicer's claim that the British communications spy agency were behind an alleged wiretap of Trump Tower. Spicer cited media commentator Judge Andrew Napolitano on Fox News claiming that Mr. Trump was under surveillance by GCHQ. Judge Andrew Napolitano made the following statement, quote, Three intelligence sources have informed Fox News that President Obama went outside the chain of command to spy on Trump. He didn't he use the NSA, he didn't he use the CIA, he used GCHQ, Spicer told journalists. Despite the White House apologizing for those comments, Mr. Trump didn't he appear to be backing down on his wiretap claim. At least we have something in common, common Mr. Trump said to a visibly surprised Ems Merkel, who was angry after it was revealed that the National Security Agency had tapped her phone under the Obama administration. He deflected the blame to Fox News, saying go and ask Fox when confronted on the legitimacy of the wiretap claim. The UK's GCHQ issued a rare public denial of what it calls utterly ridiculous claims it spied on Mr. Trump, acknowledging that the vehement tone of its statement was unusual. Recent allegations made by media commentator Judge Andrew Napolitano about GCHQ being asked to conduct wiretapping against the then-president-elect are nonsense, comma, a GCHQ spokesman said. They are utterly ridiculous and should be ignored, comma, the spokesman said in a statement. Prime Minister Theresa May's spokesman, James Slack, said the British government has made it clear to the U.S. that the ridiculous claims should be ignored. He said Friday that Washington has assured Britain they will not be repeated. GCHQS press office said that it was not unusual for the agency to make public comment but acknowledged that perhaps the tone of it was unusual. The agency does not normally comment on intelligence matters, though it has stepped up its public relations in recent months, including for recruitment drives and warnings on cybersecurity. Britain and the United States along with Australia. Canada and New Zealand are part of the Five Eyes Intelligence Sharing Alliance forged from the embers of World War II. Mr. Trump accused former President Barack Obama on March 4 of a Nixon-slash-Watergate-like wiretapping plot that would almost certainly break U.S. law. Spicer repeated the allegations, quoting from the Fox News report in which Napolitano spoke. Members of Congress from both parties who are investigating the claims have found no evidence to support them. Tim Farron leader of Britain's Liberal Democrats, an opposition party, called Spicer's repetition of the claims made by Napolitano shameful. Trump is compromising the vital UK-US security relationship to try to cover his own embarrassment, he said, adding, this harms our and United States security. D. 